Hey everyone, welcome. This is Dominic with Silver Spoon Reviews, and I'd like to introduce you to a bit of a bit of an odd game. I'm not even really sure how to get into it. So only just recently. I guess I should preface it by saying this is Bayonetta as part of the Platinum Games 10th anniversary combo pack with this and Vanquish. So this just came out. I only played Bayonetta, the Xbox uh 360 edition. Like three months ago and then this came out and i'm like screw like i got an announcement for this and i'm like screw it i'm just gonna trash those videos and not worry about this because we're gonna play it on the 4k 60 frames a second version instead and for once like we sometimes we play multiple games on the channel it's not unheard of or we play the same game multiple times uh whether it goes into sunday madness or if i just feel like doing it again who cares i want to do it so we do it um this falls into that category, but we never posted the original video, so this will be the first time you guys have seen it. So, this is a platinum game, <laughs> obviously. It's very stylish, very exacting in how it wants you to play. And if you do it wrong, you will be punished. And if you do it right, cool shit happens. It's explosive and amazing and visual and so crunchy and the best way like it's just so damn slick so I'm, I'm very excited just this is it's not a super long game I think it took me like 10 maybe like 11 hours something like that it was a little bit of well I think it was probably like 12 was a little bit of grinding but you know that was my first platinum game in years uh, so let's see let's see what's in here first before we go any further so uh, like I said platinum came out with this combo pack which I thought would be like a, a thing like it would be it would be like the Devil May Cry uh, 1, 2, and 3 combo. It's not. It's just you buy the you buy the anniversary pack and it just downloads both games. So it is what it is. It was just incredibly strange. I wasn't expecting that. Um, this all looks pretty good to me. We don't have any of that stuff yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. But I do like that the prompts... Wait. Ah, damn. I was kind of hoping... Kind of hoping... That the Xbox would remember my previous save. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. Um... I feel like we did... What like what's the difference between this and this? I feel like we did normal. I'm pretty confident we can do normal. So I'm I'm just excited in a universe of light and dark where perception is reality. Just excited to get back into this. And these dames be rocking some stylish clothes. Before, before we get any further into it, um, I'm going to make just a few more notes. I probably should have just said it all before we even came in here. I have beaten this and Bayonetta 2. Um, so the Bayonetta 2 videos will go up probably directly after these videos. In some, well, maybe not directly, because I want to play Vanquish too, so we'll we'll see what goes on with that. But they'll all come up. So there's a little bit of time discrepancy or me talking about playing Bayonetta 1 on the Xbox, which we did. Uh, like I said, was the original 360 version, which uh, played at 720, uh, 30 frames a second. Looked a little grimier, a little... <laughs> uh, and it had some serious lag issues at times, especially when there were a bunch of enemies on the screen and you're like popping witch time and... Uh, and, uh, which we then all that stuff, it can get a bit crazy. So I'm really excited to get back into it. Like I said, it's not a super long game. I'm happy to do it again. So no big surprises coming my way. Though, to be fair, the story of Bayonetta, it's fun, but it's kind of like the story of Devil May Cry before Devil May Cry 5. Even Devil May Cry 5 and 4 were still kind of meh. But, you know, they were better than 1, 2, and 3, which were almost non-existent. <laughs> Just like, go, go with the sword. Here, we have a six-foot-tall British witch who uh, wears high heels and murders angels. I still shouldn't... It's gonna kick me in to fighting. 
right? Nice. Okay, so yeah, I'm in I'm in control of fighting here. To those new to the channel, uh, normally uh, we cheers because it's a it's a new let's play. Um, so I have some rum and some soda and three, two, one cheers to Bayonetta. Let's kick some angel ass, shall we? Ugh. Let's see how how much of this game I didn't play it too long ago, so we'll see. Long since erased from the records of time. There once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. Nice. So, balances topple, things of that nature. Uh, yeah, this is just a little intro fight scene. It doesn't really matter. You have no health. The once harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoked the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. Era. I don't know what an era the is. Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle. Ambush, assassination, and casualty. So that's that's Europe then. <laughs> Fight the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them. Damn it. The Lumen Sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra Witches' favor. Oh god, I remember there's some sequences on the Xbox version where we were doing some of these cinematic QTEs, and they did not go well. I haven't got a whole lot of those. Not that I can really tell, per se, because I can't. Get down here. Oh god. Weird angel face in the background. Their victory was short-lived. Fearing the witch's dark abilities, humans began to condemn the remaining Umbra. As humans are wont to do. The witch hunts, rounding up the battle-weary witches with Oh, I can do this. And subjugating those who wish to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umbra witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. All but one. Shark! I'm okay. Let's go. Just stay close to me. It's looking better. Uh, again, the big change is here for the Umbran Tears of Blood. Uh, the big here thing is that it plays at 4K and uh, 60 frames a second. Buffalo of Blood? I still don't get it. This is a aesthetic that the game chose. I haven't actually gotten around to looking into why. I'm assuming it's a cost-saving measure that you can stylize the game without having fully animated cutscenes. There are some of those in this game, obviously. Because, uh, you know, we just saw part of one. But, oh, great, gosh, look at that Carmen San Diego bitch. She's so goddamn cool. The, I've lost my train of thought. I'm just so goddamn impressed with Bayonetta. My waifu. So that's a thing. Mm, I do like people who kill themselves and then become angels. I like that. The vestibule, there's really uh, no reason to do anything other than save. Uh, so we'll just save really quickly. Got a whole lot of nothing going on. 
and we'll just go ahead and start. The sub menu doesn't really do anything. It'll like it's options and taking you back to the home screen. It loads faster. I'll say that much. Yeah, this looks this looks a lot better. I'm I don't think it's gonna handle any better. Hey, Team Little Angels. Platinum. So, I like that they get their own established date. Did the other guy have a birthday? I didn't actually see. There's Hideki Kamiya, he of Resident Evil fame, and Devil May Cry. I love that. That's great. Character's just pissing on Kamiya. Like what does that even mean? Even all Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, is that a Sonic reference? Why the hell you drag me out here for these things? I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. I know you ain't gonna give me away. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Oh, I finally I remembered what the Humpty Dumpty no love lost for crack Humpty was about. Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. What about rubber within hey, concrete? It's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us, look at that JPEG in the background. Under, where'd society be? It's a real good question. He's not bad either. And that's really all that's important. I forget this Jesus, dude's name. You really get into this shit, don't you? Uh, do you not if see my outfit? Me, look at my pointy tits. Barbecue, or at least sunny side up. Oh, I like <laughs> eggs. Though I don't know why he goes from barbecue to sunny side up. That's a you weird jump in logic. Bread. But the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What a waste of a cigar. <laughs> For this uh, oh, Enzo. His name is Enzo. I can't see a thing. Oh, what the there? Ain't they? You hearing me? You you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon His heavenly rays to Earth. Oh my God. Dear Lord, grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. So majestic, so beautiful, so heavenly, as some might say. Oh, wait. Third sphere, affinity, realm of the angels, baby. That is the ultimate get fuck nerd. Look at this. I'm drinking to this. Three, two, one, cheers. You look tired. Let me tuck you in. Oh, God. 
And here's like the most badass motherfucker in this game. I mean, you know, second to Bayonetta. Look, even these guys don't want to fuck Next with him. You, your hands on me. you better make sure I'm dead. Now move out the way. Bro, 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 Rodan. I still. If it ain't my good buddy Enzo. So they call him Rodan. How about you get out of here? But I don't know why, because it's Rodan. Unless it's French, maybe? Well, Platinum Games is Japanese. Have to go back in that hole chasing after the money you, owe me. you better hide, bitch. No, no, no. Bayo ain't done with you yet. Do you naughty little angels deserve a good banking? Fucking suplex these motherfuckers. Beautiful. There too? God damn it, Bayo. I just, I love her. She's so over the top and outrageous. She's like the sexy version of Dante if Dante knew how to be sexy. And here is a song you will hear a lot in this game. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a great song. Uh, Moon Climax or something to that effect. Or take me to the moon, maybe? Now, this is cheeky. Throwing me these cheap toys. Look at these American made guns. And we wonder where uh, Lollipop Chainsaw got it. A question just occurred to me that I'm not necessarily sure occurred to me when I first played it. How does she fire the guns on her heels? As long as there's music, I'll keep on dancing. I'll dance. Like a sexy British witch. Okay, well let's dance. Oh, okay. So... Nope, wrong button. Still in the weird spots, though. So why is... Oh, what? What? Oh, Jesus, I think I hit the button. I can't believe I did that. I don't even know how that happened. I still, I hate my connect, because that's probably what happened. Continue. I'm hoping it just, it throws me to the beginning of that scene. Okay. Well, that could have went, that could have went a lot worse. I still don't know what happened. So again, Y is to uh, quick punch, B is for kick, they tend to be stronger, I use a lot of kicks. And then this is just straight up evade, oh. Is it gonna show me which time? 
Yes, okay. So, if you dodge the last possible second, like, when they're swinging on you, it'll slow down. Okay, so it takes a second for me to get back into it, but it's pretty particular, but it comes pretty intuitive after a second. So then it witch times, and then it slows down time. <laughs> so witch time- oh, look at the fucking Xbox 360 controller! Boo on you, and then you could just lay into them. And which time will eventually return to normal. Yeah, if you go too early, well, I got- I think it's being generous here, to be honest. Uh, Halos are coins, uh, money, if you will. Oh, damn it. God, I love this song. I'm assuming there's more people here, yeah. Oh, shit. I ended up blocking him altogether before... I'm trying to get some witch time going. There we go. You get better combos this way. Come on. Ah, damn it. Lost my combo. He was too far away, I'd knocked him away. I guess I, I forgot I could do guns for it. Ah, oh, these little fuckers. Did that guy just clip through the world? Oh, let me go grab these, actually. Those are useful. I forgot that it was a thing. Oh, this is gonna show me, yeah. Oh, it's this way. That's why I was doing Bullet Climax wrong, okay. So I did it right once. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, damn it. So once you do the spin, then you just move the controller around. It, uh, it's helpful if there's a lot of people around you, but you can't maintain it for forever, so... But it's good combo meters. Damn it. There we go. Wrong button. Damn it. Please drop. Show. Oh, damn it. Oh, punish. Oh, I fucked it up. There's a lot of these, too. So this was something I didn't realize till later on, but some people realized it much earlier on. I don't care, Enzo. Fuck off. Uh, humans can't see them. But I'm not quite human. Why can't I get my camera to change? Oh, is my camera inverted? My camera's inverted.
Okay, so I want... Because this is what I want, but I don't want this. That's something we'll look at later. Uh, so what I want then... Is this on? Damn it. Nope. We're gonna figure it out, guys. Is it not any of these? I keep, why do I keep doing that? There we go. That took a hot minute. Woo. And then I can fly. I love that. That's great. Whoops. Damn it, who did that? I just bought the damn thing. It wasn't me. Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. That's a good word. It means lodging or home, basically. I'm not gonna lie, I may have... Oh, that's right. Only one of them has a life bar. Okay. Yeah, because I haven't gotten a life bar yet. That oh, must be the big guy. That would make sense. Oh, wow. I kind of thought I had that, actually. Wow, I can't... Which time to save my goddamn life? I... There we go. Fucking finally. So, yeah. Damn, silver. It's not very good. Though I have to get back into it. That's probably better than I did the first time I did this. They're a fucking plebeian. You have insurance? I don't know. They don't give us backstory for you, Radon. I'm sorry, Enza. Much like me. About this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you. You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Uh Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project. Before the shit hits the fan. I think the Wait, shit has already hit the down. fan. What about Eggman? Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes, or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! Forgetting that he's the only human, you know? So this is the loading screen, which is much quicker than it used to be, and there's almost no time to do any of the tutorials that it shows you how to do. Oh, what a day! I'm screwed! Ah, it's gonna take every cent I earned on this charade! To pay for the damage. I don't like you have insurance, right? This is the you modern like world. See them bastards that did this to my car? Forget about it. And forget about it. Pay attention. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this too. Of all the low life scum in too deep in this town, 
I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. Oh, that's worrisome. Dressed like a nun, too. When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The they're, toys are nice. <laughs> they're form flattering. What do you want me to say, Enza? I didn't need that anyways. As the you're a witch. But now you're stuck because you gotta sacrifice our halo wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the divine for a living, that's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. Or my second. Or funeral, my third. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. Ha 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 ha, come on now! Look at my poor car! I, I love that. I love that her legs, because she's so tall, it's like they have to go through the busted window. That's great. I got is good. Good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. Jewels instead of cash, just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus, can't you take a joke? Enzo, someone's given you a present. Too bad. I can't stand bugs. <sighs> wow. <laughs> You would have been less conspicuous if you had just kept normal. Huh? What the fuck? Also, overkill. Ah! Whoops. Well, that cargo jet is fine. So that purple circular motion she makes uh, is her entrance in the witch time. Apparently, in... in universe, you know, in canon, she can control that whenever she wants. Yo! Women be styling up in here. Uh, but in game, you can only activate witch time uh, by getting the proc on it, so... Nobody else finds it odd that witches are using guns, right? Okay, so we have to defeat them in five minutes, doing the magic gauge, we do torture attacks, it's a whole thing. Three, two, one, cheers. On a similar note, normally episodes that I do, for anybody new to the channel, uh, are about 30 minutes, give or take a few minutes on either side, depending on where we call it good. Uh, first episodes, though, tend to be 45 minutes to an hour and a half sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sometimes a little longer. Uh, unless it's a super short game, like a Telltale game or something, then it's only 30 minutes, because I know it needs to be. Um, okay. So now we have Magic Cage, which is the bar under my life, which is uh, in the top left-hand corner. Life is green, Magic Gauge is uh, purple. Or the little orbs, I guess. They're more crystalline than purple. So now I can do torture attacks. So they take... Right now I have eight... Um, I remember the first time I played this. I was like, why is everything so slow? I can't... And I can't activate... Which time? I don't understand. I, I was so dumb. 
That was so dumb. So I have eight little pips right now, and I need all eight pips to do a torture attack. Uh, as the game progresses, I can... Is this rage mode? Yeah. Damn. Wait, what? Sh Damn. I'm not even seeing where some of these hits are coming from. Not doing super well here, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't see him, but I just kind of lucked out. Damn, are you fucking kidding me? I don't remember. I wonder if it's because I'm playing on normal. I swore I played on normal the first time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in time. Oh, sh oh Jesus. I think I failed. I didn't fail that the first time I played this. Wow, Dominic. I can't believe that. I should have said no, actually, because I could have just skipped it. Because it's all cutscene anyways. I can't believe that. I'm really ashamed of myself. I, maybe I played on easy. Well, this is going to be a challenge then. Get up. Uh, let's do this. These torture attacks are great. You can do different things, too, uh, depending on where they are. Maybe I'm supposed to be hit? I don't know. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck going after him. Damn it! Let's pay attention. I cannot believe. Shh, oh, fuck. I was there. I am stunned right now, guys. No. So, if you fail, that's what happens there. But what happens, much like with uh, Devil May Cry, is if you die, it's... It's... Like... A what? I earned that. I died once, though. I don't know what I'm keeping in. I don't know what I'm taking out. That took me all the way back to the very first mission, basically. Really disgusted with how difficult that was. And it shouldn't have been. At least we get this fucking cool synchronicity. I don't have the cool guns yet.
Bye, bitch. Platinum coffee, huh? So I had to redo that first part of the mission. Oh, so which time? This slow. More woman than a girl, but you know, all the same. Nice. So that was rough. And I'm really, really afraid that it's going to get a lot more rough as we go. There are some pretty tough fights in this game. Why is her whole outfit freaking the fuck out? Sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. <laughs> Human world. Inferno. <laughs> Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Even harder <laughs> <than> purgatory. <laughs> Excuse me. Fight long enough in there, and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Classic so, Bayonetta. Everything was a bit too bracing. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. I got a little present for you. Hey. I like presents. Special. I don't want a baby, though. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, because they're one of a kind. She's not making a single sound. That was so weird. Thanks, Rodan. Calling me out. I don't go in for strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class. Pounding them down tonight, baby. Where's the cherry? Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. You made a point. So this is Rodan's. Uh, it's the Gates of Hell. Her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. I don't really have any money. <sighs> you did beat, motherfucker. Oh, poor Enzo. The comic relief of this game. Prologue, the vegetables. No items, but I did have a death. I'll take a gold. <laughs> so, in between there, I did get some items. Uh, well, items aren't the right words. So I got some mixing items, but we'll get to that later. So, uh, the award bonus award is, I think, generally just for, like, completing it, for, like, boss battles and things like that. Uh, no item gets you 5,000. Uh, and then there's actual boss awards for when you fight big bosses. So this is still my least favorite part of this game. So this is Angel Attack. So you get a bunch of bullets, and I got some extra bullets 
Oh, fuck it. Here it's gonna go. Aim and fire on the angel targets to rack up a high score in this thrilling shooting game. It's not thrilling. For each bullet fired, you loot, or you may fire three times. Uh, hitting multiple angel targets or aiming and hitting vital points. Earn your bonus. If you get a high score, you get a bunch of points. Fuck you, Platinum Games. I already forgot how to shoot. Okay, well, I fucked that up. I fucked that up, too. Okay. Damn. Oh, I really missed that, huh? Okay. So I don't know how many points I got. 29. I don't even think I could buy anything. With that. I'm shy of being able to buy something. So these are nice to have. These are your healing items. I know some people like in Devil May Cry are like, you know, fuck healing items. If you, you need them, you, you, loot, you do lose that 5,000 uh, halos. But these are nice to have for when you get your ass handed to you. However, I can't buy anything because I was shy of one point. So what you do is you back out and you get halos in return. I have a lot of halos. I must have played on easy. I swore I played on normal. And there's a chibi bea. There's nothing happens on those, so what it does is it, or it takes you to the next spot. Well, we're going to go ahead and call this episode quits. I would have probably gone into Angel's Metropolis for a little bit, but I had to redo a huge chunk of the game. So, uh, but we're going to go ahead and call it quits. Again, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews, and thank you for watching this first, and I put that in quotes, episode of Bayonetta, uh, part of the Platinum Games 10th Anniversary Edition. Uh, if you guys liked it, leave a comment or uh, leave a like down below. Let me know you appreciate the content. Any likes or any comments, criticism, suggestions, critiques, leave it down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, and I will see you in chapter one of Bayonetta.